Hi there, it's Gabriel here, SEO Manager at Hike SEO, and in this video, we'll be talking about Google Business Profile, how to optimize your business for local SEO. So let's dive in. So in this video, you'll learn what is Google Business Profile, why it's important to use for your local SEO, how to actually leverage it, and how to create it from scratch or to claim it if it exists already, how to optimize it for better results, and how to manage it within the Hike SEO platform. So let's dive in. So what is a Google Business Profile? If you haven't heard of it already, um, you'll learn just in a second. It's basically a free tool that allows business owners to create, to manage, and optimize their online presence across various Google products such as Google Search or and Google Maps. So why is it important for your local SEO? Firstly, it's improved local search visibility that it gets you. Um, it increases the chances of businesses appearing in local search results, Google Maps, and the local pack, that little bit that shows up in Google search with the businesses listed with the map in it. That's what the local pack is. And this increased visibility can lead to more exposure to the business, more engagement, and ultimately more sales. And that's what um, we all want as businesses. We want more sales, more business. Accurate information. Uh, it ensures that customers have accurate and up-to-date information about your business. So the name, the address, the phone, etc. And it makes it easier for potential customers to find and contact your business as well. Customer trust and credibility. So businesses with complete and accurate Google business profiles are generally perceived as more trustworthy and credible by potential customers. This is key to understand because if you just go to a website, you don't necessarily know when it has been updated, how often it's been updated, etc. So you don't know if that information on there is still relevant. Um, when you respond to reviews um, or showcase your products or your services and post updates, um, on your Google business profile, it builds this trust as well with your prospects and your current uh, customers. Insights and analytics. So it also provides insights such as views, clicks, calls, and direction requests that can help you understand your target audience and optimize your marketing strategies accordingly, especially in a local context. Customer engagement. So it allows you to interact with your customers by responding to the reviews that they leave, answering any questions that they might have, and posting updates about your business in an easy-to-consume way. So this can help improve your customer satisfaction and overall encourage customer loyalty so they come back to you over and over again. It's also a free marketing tool. Um, so it's a free tool that can help boost businesses' online presence without any additional cost. And this is great, especially um, it's an attractive option for small businesses that have very limited um, marketing resources. So any way that they can save in marketing is a plus for them. So how do you best leverage the Google Business Profile tool? So this can be done by anyone. Um, including uh, random individuals and automated listing generators. So that's to create the actual the listing. So this can be done by anyone. It doesn't have to be the actual business that does it. Um, Google requires only the business name, the location, and the category to create a profile. So once the profile is verified as unique, the users can start interacting with it by leaving reviews, by adding photos, and answering or even asking questions about specific aspects of that business. So here's what's important. A business profile can exist without a Google business account. So they're two separate things. So like I said earlier, anybody can create a business listing, but in order to manage it as your own business, then you need to have a Google business account and link it with it. So by creating a Google business account, you can then freely access customize, manage, and enhance your business profile on Google. So there's four ways to leverage your Google business profile. First is customer engagement. Um, next is business highlights. Th three is additional in insights. 
and four is so there are four ways to leverage your Google business profile. Firstly, customer engagement. Secondly, business highlights. Thirdly, additional insights. And fourth, local SEO enhancements. Let's go through each and a few points for them. So firstly, customer engagement. So you can interact with your customers or your prospects directly. And this is really useful because you can get some great feedback and insights. You can respond to reviews, answer their questions, and address any concerns that they might have. This provides also valuable feedback that you can use to improve your existing products or and services. Business highlights. So it allows you to showcase your business's unique features, products, and services. Uh, you can add photos, videos, promo content, um, any of that to add a rich experience and you can keep customers informed about any upcoming business events any promos that you're doing or any product launches or service launches that you're doing additional insights insights include a number of views clicks calls direction requests as well as audience demographics that you can really go into see any trends see any patterns and really understand your audience from a local perspective uh, so you can make more informed decisions in your SEO strategy and your overall marketing strategy. Local SEO enhancements. So you can um, you would provide accurate and up-to-date information here and use relevant keywords in your description, your business description, and encourage your customers to leave reviews. All of this helps the visibility in local search results. So how do you create a new account? So firstly, you would go to the Google business website, so google.com slash business, and click sign in if you already have a Google account. Or if you don't, click create account. Next, find your business. So after signing in, enter your business name in the search bar. If it's already listed, then select it. If not, click add your business to Google to create a new listing. Next, enter your business information. So provide your business name, category, address, and other information required. Be accurate and consistent with the information that you provide. So make sure it's the same across everywhere that you've listed it online. Verify your business. So this can be done through various methods like a postcard, a phone call, an email verification, or even instant verification if eligible. So choose the most suitable option and then follow the instructions provided for the one that you've chosen. Number five, complete your business profile. So once you're verified, you can access and manage your Google business account. So this is the exciting part. This is where you would fill out your business profile with additional information such as hours of operation, contact details, your website URL, photos, whatever else that you want to add, you can add on there. Now, let's say you want to claim a profile because it already exists and that's your business that someone else on the web created or listed. So firstly, you would find the business profile. You would go to Google Maps or Google Search, search for your business name and your location, locate, locate the existing profile in the business results. And then number two, you would claim that profile. So on the business profile page, you would look for something along the lines of own this business or claim this business, there's a link. And then you click that link um, to start the claiming process. So you'll need to sign into your Google account to proceed from here. Next is confirming the business details. So after clicking the claim link, you may be asked to provide some basic information about your business. So make sure the info is accurate and up to date. Again, should be consistent with everything else online, the same everywhere. Four, verify your connection to the business. So this can be done through various methods, like I mentioned previously, postcard, phone call, email, or instant verification, if eligible. So you choose the most suitable op options, uh, the option, and then follow the instructions provided. Five, update and manage your business profile. So after you've been verified, you can access and manage your Google business account right directly there and update information that needs to be made current if it isn't. Now finally, we want to talk about how to optimize it. Because now that you have it 
there, there's certain areas that you can make even better than it already is. So you want to re review the NAP, the NAP consistency. NAP stands for name, address, phone number. So you want to make sure there's it's consistent with everything else online. Okay, so it's really crucial for local SEO because it creates trust. And if one piece of information is not the same somewhere, then it creates some sort of confusion because you're not sure if it's if this phone number or that phone number is correct or that address is current or this address over here is current. That's why it has to be the same and consistent everywhere. Because if it isn't, it's going to create some distrust in the people looking at it. Google's going to look at it and distrust it. It's just not good. So write a business description. Here is where you can have the opportunity to add some keywords. So you want to craft a concise, informative and keyword rich description for your business. Basically, it should clearly convey what the business does, the services or products that you offer and any unique selling propositions or USPs. Next, add images to your listing. So this helps to create a compelling first impression for your business. Um, so add high quality images that showcase your products, your services, your storefront if you are a physical based business, um, the interior, um, let's say your restaurant so you can show how it looks inside. And this provides prospects with a glimpse of what to expect should they want to uh, go to your business or um, purchase your products or services. Next, create Google Posts. So use the Google Posts feature to share updates from your business, promos on products or launches, events, or specific news in your industry um, or business. And these posts appear directly on your business profile and can keep your customers informed and up to date. So really useful feature. Next, feature products on Google Business Profile. So you can use the products tab on your Google business profile to feature products or services that your business offers. And this allows potential customers to browse your offerings directly from your profile without having to go to your site. Respond to reviews. Actively respond to both positive and negative reviews to demonstrate that you value customer feedback and are committed to improving their experience. And this improves the trust and also customer loyalty so that they'll come back. It can be that even if you respond to negative review in a professional manner, in a way that's helpful, that person might actually delete that review or might go and edit it and create a positive one instead because of the experience of interacting with you. So never underestimate the power of engaging with your audience, even with negative reviews. Add questions and answers. So you can monitor the questions and answers section of the business profile and you can provide helpful, accurate answers uh, to users questions. But you can also proactively add frequently asked questions, kind of predict what they will ask and then answer them uh, directly on there as well, just so that you've got all the main common bases covered. Select highlights and attributes. So you can choose relevant highlights and attributes to emphasize the unique features of your business. For example, certain accessibility options, certain payment methods that you accept, uh, service offerings, etc., etc. It depends on the industry what those specific um, highlights or attributes could be. Now, managing Google Business Profile through Hike, you can do that through the Google Listings Manager under the local dropdown. And here you can see uh, the profile being pulled right into Hike and you can edit and manage it directly. It's fantastic and you can even answer questions there, manage the media, edit all the details on your listing. It's fantastic. Instead of having to log in separately, you can do it directly within the Hike SEO platform. For example, if you scroll down and I click on description, you can edit the business description there, make it more keyword rich, add more details about what your business does and what it offers, etc. And it even gives you some and it even gives you some a different um for example, if you scroll down to the description section, you can see that you can edit the description right there. You can add more keywords, you can uh, add more details about what your business does. 
and Hike even provides some recommendations on what you can do to improve it on there. So it's really fantastic and saves a lot of time and you don't have to log into a separate um, tab or different um, interface. You can do it directly within the Hike SEO platform. Thank you. So if you have any questions about Google Business Profile, let me know. Otherwise, uh, if you haven't signed up for Hike yet, please do so. It makes managing your Google Business Profile so much easier and quicker. And it also provides some really great guidance on how to best optimize it. All right. I will see you in the next video.